Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. You know, I just wrote it down and I can't remember. I'm sorry, guys. The days just flow into each other. So anyway, hi, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm Rose. I like to crochet. I also like yarn a lot. <laughs> anyway, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome. <laughs> Um, so today I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to do an Etsy shop update. I ordered some yarn from Lion Brand. I went to the stores shopping and I got some happy mail and I have some finished objects and a project that took me four years. Not because I was lazy. It just took me a long time. It's a graph can. I'll show you guys. So anyway, uh, hope everyone's doing good. Um, for those of you who are new, I am from the Chicago area. I have a daughter whose nickname is Carrots, and we have a lot of animals in this house. Um, I would like to invite you guys to come and join our Facebook group. We have a lot of fun over there. Uh, the link will be down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and I have an Etsy shop and I'll show you uh, some stuff that I just put in my Etsy shop. Um, so let's get started. Now I like to be happy. So we're going to start with some happy mail. Okay. So this is the first card that I got. It's actually the only card. I got some boxes, but here is a card and it says fun facts in the late 1800s, Levi Strauss used a twill cotton fabric called serge, which was made in Nimes, France. The word denim comes from the French serge de Nimes whatever, I can't speak French. Originally, jeans were worn by American factory workers. Men's jeans had the zipper down the front, while women's jeans had the zipper down the left side. Okay, so this is from Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Barbara lives on a sailboat, and she um, has sent lots of stuff for our Wings charity donation or charity for this year. Hi, Barbara. And she says, hi, Rose. You were right. I'm Loving the divine hat. I love your videos. You inspire me to try to make different projects. I'm staying on board our sailboat and doing a lot of crocheting and I'm thankful you are hosting the donations for wings. God bless you. Love, Barbara. Barbara, thank you so much. And I'm so excited you like the divine hat. I love making the divine hat. Um, for those of you who don't know, check out my Instagram. I have a ton of divine hats. Um, it's I think there's a video tutorial by Jonah Martinez that you can find in my projects playlist on the channel and you can go check it out. So Barbara, thank you so much for the postcard. All right, you guys ready for the next one? So this isn't happy mail for me. This is going to be happy mail for you guys. So this little box is from Billy the Crafty Floridian and for those of you who know about our Wings charity donation, you'll know that um, we are doing a year-long uh, donation event for a domestic violence organization called Wings. And um, every month we do a giveaway for people who send in donations. And Billy, the Crafty Floridian, I'll link her down below, she offered two of her adorable bags so that we could give them away as giveaway presents for uh, wings. So I'm really excited to show you guys what she sent. And thank you so much, Billy, for sending them. Let me show you guys. So she sent me a little note card and it says, Dear Rosie, your giveaway purses, one coin purse, one eyeglass case, love and hugs from Billy. So you guys, if you don't watch Billy, you really should. You should go over there and check her out. So she offered these two really adorable bags. This is an eyeglass case. And look, it's got a little froggy on it. You guys, these are just stinking adorable. So we get to give this away for one of our wings giveaways. And then she sent this one and it's so pretty. Look at this, look at the hearts. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's like a little coin purse and it's got a little strap and you can put this in your bag and it is absolutely adorable. So Billy, thank you so much for sending the coin purse and the eyeglass case for wings. I'm going to stash this with the wing stuff and um, I think these are giveaways for September. So we'll see what happens there. Okay, so thanks Billy so much. All right, ready for the next one? You guys, believe it or not, this next one is also from Billy the Crafty Floridian. <laughs> I ordered 
uh, an eyeglass case and I also ordered a um, project bag from her. And um, you guys, there's no way this is an eyeglass case in a project bag. So we're gonna see what's in here. Okay, you guys, so um, my daughter, like again, I told you earlier, her nickname is Carrots. So Billy sent this little note that says for Carrots and she sent this adorable little notepad. It's just plain paper, so that is awesome. Thank you so much. And then she sent an entire bag of crafts and it says for Carrots and it's crafts. <laughs> So there's like a little notebook in here and sequins and stickers and all kinds of cool stuff in there. So Billy, thank you so much. I'm going to give this to Carrots in a little bit and see what she says. So thank you so much for Carrots. Okay, now we're going to get to the good stuff. So Billy put my stuff in this little purple bag. Oh, there's more stuff. Okay, so I only ordered... You guys, I only ordered two things from Billy. <laughs> There's more than two things in here. Okay, so the one thing that I definitely saw on her channel that I wanted was this um, adorable eyeglass case. And it's purple, and look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And it looks like the little strap came off, but I will fix it. So it's got like a little strap, and it's purple. For those of you who are new, purple is my favorite color. And then this is the project bag that I ordered from her. It is so pretty. <gasps> okay, so this is dragonflies. And look at that, you guys. There is a little bead with a butterfly on it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's got like a nice handle. Oh, and it is lined in purple. You guys, this is awesome. And then there is Billy's tag. So I will link her channel in the description box down below, but let's see what else. There's other stuff in here that I didn't order. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at what she sent you guys. She sent a change purse. Oh, this is so pretty. And you guys, I don't know if you can see that. There's an R on there. Oh, so cool. Oh, and she, she puts a penny in all of her change purses. There's my lucky penny. Thank you so much, Billy. I love it. Oh my gosh. And then there's something else. Billy, what did you do? Is this for carrots? Okay, this is so cool. Check out this change purse, you guys, with the little handle on it. It's got stars like all over it. Oh, that is so nifty. Billy, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely, the purple one is for me. So um, maybe I'll give this one to carrots. Maybe this one was supposed to be for carrots. Or Billy, let me know if I can put this in a giveaway too. It's awesome. Wow, thank you so much, Billy. You did not have to put all the extras in there. I really, really appreciate it. I love your work. It's gorgeous. Um, you guys, she doesn't have an Etsy shop. You have to watch her videos. And when she has things available for sale, you can email her with what you want. So Billy, thank you. I love you. Okay, you guys, this next box is from Clara. And I originally thought this was going to be for wings, but I don't think it's for wings. Um, so let me open it up and I'll show you what's in here. It's really heavy. So here is the card from Clara. Oh my gosh, Clara, there's so much stuff in this box. She says, thanks for being, oh, I'm sorry. It says, some women have a talent for kindness, a gift for friendship, and a subtle strength that others can depend on. And then the inside says, thanks for being one of them. Love, Clara. She says, enjoy yarn, beads, coloring books, and pens for your daughter. Okay, so I think the yarn is for me. <laughs> and everything else is for my daughter. Clara, thank you so much. Let me show you guys. Oh my gosh, this is like so much stuff. I'm going to show you the stuff for carrots first. Okay, so here's a little tiny book, little animals. And then there's a bunch of st sticker books, color by sticker. Oh, look at this one, you guys. That's an awesome coloring book. Oh, makes me want cake. <laughs> there is a hidden picture puzzle book. That's awesome. Oh, and then a set of, are these gel pens? Yes, a set of gel pens. So, oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. Um, I'm going to give this to Carrots later on. Thank you so much for sending this. I really appreciate it. Okay, and then Clara sent like lots of purple yarn. Oh! I'm so excited. Okay, so you guys, she sent me two of these 
Karen One Pounders and the color is lilac. Holy mackerel. They must be making them somewhere else now because these are really soft. I mean, and I have a lot of Karen One Pounders and they're not this soft. And these say made in the USA of imported fibers. Anyway, oh my gosh, they're super nice. Thank you, Clara. Okay, then she sent me three packages of this yarn bee and it's called Mini Maker. Oh my gosh. Awesome. The color is purple. So she sent me three packages of those. Ooh, hat. What do you think? Hat? Let me see how many yards are in these, you guys. So there are 65 yards in each one of them. So I could definitely do a hat and maybe a cowl to go with it. So thank you so much. And then she sent these impeccables. Oh, I love this color. This is called Amethyst. And these are a Michaels brand, Loops and Threads. And she sent three of those. Oh, man, those are pretty. Thank you so much. I love them. You guys, look at what she sent. Oh, Clara, you're awesome. Did you make this or did you buy this from Billy? Because this looks like a Billy bag. Oh, my gosh. It's gorgeous. You guys, check that out. Okay, this has to be on display somewhere in my house for sure. Oh, there's a there's a check in here. Clara, are you serious? Oh my. Clara, you are incredible. This is a check made out to wings. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys the dollar amount, but it's incredible. Um, thank you so much. Um, Clara, let me know. It, does this bag need to get donated to Wings as well? Could you let me know? Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. Um, I cannot wait to deliver this to Wings when I go there again. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Thanks, Clara. Okay, then Clara also sent me some beads. Now, I know that we emailed about this, and she said she had some beads. She was going to try and make stitch markers, but she didn't want to, so she was going to send me her beads. So I'll show you guys what she sent. This is cool, the letters and the little hearts. And then she said, oh, these are so pretty. She sent these. Wow, those are so amazing. Okay, and then she sent butterflies. And some pink. Oh, these are really pretty too. Wow, you have great taste in beads. <laughs> I love these. So, oh my gosh. Clara, thank you so much. I can't even begin to say thank you enough. And I'm sure Wings appreciates your donation more than you'll ever, ever know. So thank you so much. All right, you guys. <laughs> this is the next box for Happy Mail. Now, do you see how big this is? It's huge. Now, when I first got this box, I thought it was for wings because who would send me the, a box this big full of goodies? Well, <laughs> this is from Judy Little. Judy, I love you. You're amazing. She's been donating to wings for the past couple months, and then she sent me this humongous box. I'm going to show you guys what's in here. So there's a card. <laughs> and it says, some people just make life better for everyone around them. And on the inside, it says, that's how you are. Your kind heart and generous soul have blessed so many people. Don't ever forget how much you mean. And she says, I'm sending you some yarn, my yarny friend. There are also a couple of crochet hooks, which look to be the shape you like. Also a couple of things for carrots. <laughs> and she says, I don't know how Hallmark knows you so well, but the card says it all, Rose, we love you. Oh, Judy, we I love you back, man. You guys are so amazing. You guys, there's an anniversary cake in here. Ah! Okay, let me show you what's in here. All right, so here's the stuff for carrots. Oh, glitter glue. Oh my gosh, there's colored pens. Oh, there's more glue. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there are... Ooh, Sharpie fluorescence. Oh my gosh, you guys, she might not see some of this stuff. <laughs> I'm kidding. There is um, a pencil case with pens in there and there's washi tape. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is amazing. Judy, thank you so much. You did not have to send anything for carrots. She's gonna totally dig those markers though. So, oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. Okay, so here are the crochet hooks that she sent. And here is the tag. It says, my two ladies. And it's mytwoladiesknitting.com. 
And this one says this is a 5.5 millimeter rosewood crochet hook made in India. Okay, you guys. Wow. Do you see this? Look at the detail on that. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is totally my style. <laughs> and then this one, this one says it's a six millimeter and it looks just as beautiful. And it says it is also a rosewood crochet hook made in India. That's totally my jam, you guys. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful, Judy. Uh, thank you so much for the hooks. Like they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go use one tonight on a project. <laughs> okay. So you guys ready for the yarn? It's insane. Okay. This is the first thing. Oh, I got an anniversary cake. I have this one already. So I'm going to like use both of them and make a blanket out of this. Oh, look at the colors. Schneikers. It's gorgeous. Judy, you did not have to buy that or send that or anything. It's called Grape Gala. Ooh, I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, there's more. All right, so she sent two of these Karen Big Cakes, cakes, and this is called Grape Jelly. And I am a hoarder of these. I think I might have four or five already. So now I can definitely make a really super, super big blanket with these, um, or I can just continue to hoard them. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Judy. All right. So, oh my God, I'm so excited. So Judy sent me a bunch of these hometown USAs and I'm going to tell you guys what I like to make out of these. I like to make the, um, Bob Wilson one, two, three. It's fall y'all cowl. Um, I have a ton of these that I've made already or a ton of the cowls that I made already. They're for sale on my Etsy shop, but she sent me uh, a whole bunch. So here, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at how pretty those colors are. Okay, so she sent those, and she sent those three. I like it. And then you guys, check this out. Okay, who can tell me what I'm gonna make with these and uh, what team this represents? <laughs> I love it, thank you so much. These colors are awesome. All right, she sent me a basic stitch by Lion Brand. And I've never used these before, you guys. These are Lion Brand Heartland Thick and Quick. I've seen the regular Heartland, but I've never seen the Thick and Quick. So that, that looks really cool. Oh, and it's really soft, you guys. Okay, she had to send me some purple stuff. Of course, more purple stuff. So I got, oh, I've never tried this before. Snuggly Wuggly from Loops and Threads. Uh, this is from Michaels. And she sent me two of those. And the color is soft lilac and then we have the regular heartland this is in the color hot springs and there's three of them there oh my gosh they're so pretty and then she sent two of these uh tweed stripes mandala tweed stripes by lion brand and it's called talisman Ooh, those are pretty i don't think i have these two all right and then she sent two of these these are these are really cool i've never seen this brand before oh it's king cole but it's called curiosity and look at that you guys holy smokes that's gorgeous okay i need to do some online shopping <laughs> um shade is called purple haze on these two Ooh, uh how many yards 524 yards for each of these. I see a shawl, you guys. So pretty. Then she sent two, two of these Just My Stripes in those colors. So awesome. And there was one more of these Hometowns. And then there's a bag of this Prism yarn. What is this? Oh, Mary Maxim so pretty it looks like a like a roving 290 yards each oh they're so pretty all right so we could do a nice shawl out of this too because there's three of them so judy thank you so much i can't believe how much yarn you sent that is so cool i so appreciate it now i'm pretty sure i've emailed a billion people back and forth in the past couple weeks if this was supposed to be stuff for a giveaway will you let me know um, I'd be more than happy to give away any of the yarn that you tell me I can give away. So thank you, Judy. All right, you guys. So the next box is my order from Lion Brand. And I'm going to tell you why I had to buy 
an, uh, some stuff from Lion Brand. I was at a Joanne like two months ago during their big clearance sale and they had a ball of this cobblestone yarn and uh, it didn't come up in their inventory so the lady gave it to me for free. So of course I made a divine hat out of it and I couldn't find it anywhere else in the stores and lo and behold Lion Brand was having a sale for 35% off your whole order so I had to go and buy it. Um, but there were other things so I had to go and buy other things too. So anyway, so um, there's no price on the invoice, so I don't remember how much these were, but they were all like 35% off. Um, they also sent this book, Homespun Afghans. This will go in a giveaway because I do not like homespun yarn. <laughs> anyway, let me show you guys what I got. Okay, the first thing I got was called, I'm gonna open up the bag. It's called Dream Maker, and I've never had this before. Um, these are tiny little balls. You guys want to check that out. And again, it's called Dream Maker. Each ball is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 109 yards, 100 meters, 74% acrylic, 26% nylon, machine wash and dry, made in China. And they call this a number five, and they're saying that this is a 6.5 millimeter hook and the color on this one is called waterfall cascade so not sure what I'll do with it um, it's not like regular yarn I mean it's regular yarn but it looks like it's um, like a meshy type yarn so I got three of those right there all right they also had this new mandala color at least it's new to me i haven't seen it before it's called mothra or mothra and that's just the regular mandala i thought those colors were super pretty so i picked up two of those and then i hadn't seen this color before it's called Ghidorah, and i thought those were really pretty colors too so i picked up two of those these are like 590 yards each so i think two is enough to make a good shawl on that so I picked up two of those all right you guys I had to get some of this mandala ombre which by the way now that I think about it I think I have this already this is in the color zen and this is their four weight mandala and it's just so lovely I love this you guys so I got a three pack of those I also got a three pack of this just my stripe and the color on this one is called berry blue um, this is just like your typical four weight acrylic, um, but I like the ombre effect on there. I thought those were really, really pretty. I have a bunch of these colors in just my stripe and I was thinking of doing a blanket with them. So I don't know. All right, guys. So the whole reason I placed the order was to get this cobblestone yarn, which was super squishy and nice to work with. And I'll tell you about it. It is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 219 yards, 200 meters, Machine wash and dry, 100% acrylic, made in Turkey. This is a number four. They recommend a 5.5 millimeter. And this color is called Current. And this is the one that I had gotten for free at Joann's. And I made a hat and I decided I really want to make a divine cowl to go with it. So I picked up two more of these so that I could make the cowl. And then they also had this color. And this color is called moss stone and I thought that was really pretty too so I'm going to see how the cowl turns out to match the hat and if it looks good then I'll make another set with this so that's it for the lion brand order I know this is a lot of yarn guys okay so I went to do some retail therapy <laughs> like we all do right so I went to Joann's and this is actually the store that's um not too far from me and I was really shocked but I saw some of the big twist twinkle yarn which there you go, you can kind of see the, the twinkle in there. And I used some coupons because these were not on sale. So I think I had like a 60% off, a 50% off, another 50% off. So I got three of these, <laughs> um, two of them in blue and one in this burgundy color. So I'll tell you guys about it. I It's so soft. I love this, you guys. Um, Big Twist Twinkle, and this is only available at Joann Fabrics. 380 yards, 6 ounces, 347 meters, 170 grams. 
It's a size four. They recommend a five millimeter hook. It says machine washable, do not tumble dry. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> the color on this one is called Sapphire and it is made in Turkey. So two of the blue ones, and I already have one of these, so I picked up another one in this color and this is called Mulberry. And then the actual Big Twist yarns were on sale for $1.50. So I picked up this one, and this is just called a Varsity Red. Woo! Yeah. I don't know why I needed red, but I needed red. <laughs> so that was my one trip to Joanne. Okay, my second trip to Joanne. <laughs> also at the same store. I think I went because I had different coupons. I don't remember. I had to get another one of these Twinkle yarns. This one is called Teal. So I got one of those. And then they had... Um, this is again like I had coupons and stuff. So I picked up a Susan Bates 3.75 millimeter hook. Um, I do use this size hook for my dragon belly shawls with a size one yarn. So I figured I needed to have an extra one. And then I picked up these adorable mushroom uh, charms beads. So I'm going to make some stitch markers out of that. And then also at Joanne, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe it. It's so cute. Um, some doggy stitch markers. Now I already have paw print stitch markers on my um, Etsy shop, but I thought these were really cute too because there's like dog bones and a dog house. So I'm going to make those. And then I went to Michael's. I know you guys, I can't stop myself. And I found some, I had a $5 reward because they have this new reward system. So I had a $5 reward and I think the charms were like 40% off or half off. So I found these. And you guys see them? They're little drinks. So there's like a martini glass and a wine glass. And I don't know, I don't drink you guys, but maybe that's like a margarita or something. <laughs> so I thought they were so cute. So I picked up two of these. So these are gonna be uh, sets of stitch markers if I can get around to them. And that was it for Michaels and Joanne. Now don't fret, I did go to Hobby Lobby, hang on. Okay, so you guys, you all know that Hobby Lobby came out with new yarn. So I went on a week where it was 30% off and um, I was gonna video, but so many people have already videotaped all the new yarn at Hobby Lobby that I didn't wanna waste my time or your time. I figured you'd already seen it. Um, and I only picked up two new kinds of yarn, not even kinds. Okay, so this is, I love this yarn and it's just a new color of their print and it's called, mahogany singe and it's coming up a little bit lighter than what it actually is but i thought this was really really pretty um actually masculine kind of like if i wanted to do a hat and a scarf for a gentleman that would be really nice and then um they also had this new sugar wheel cotton sparkle the color on that is just relax i don't know if you guys can see the sparkle and um, so these were all 30% off. So, you know, I mean, I'm a big yarny, but these are the only things that actually caught my eye when I was there. I will tell you guys, I saw the hand dyed yarn and I was very tempted to buy some of it, but I'm gonna go with the mantra that if I'm gonna buy hand dyed yarn, it's gonna be from someone who is a um, small business. Um, so I do actually have a new subscription, a yarn subscription coming, and it is from a small business. Um, so I'd rather support them for the hand dyed yarn than Hobby Lobby for that. I love Hobby Lobby yarn, don't get me wrong, but for the hand dyed stuff, I'm gonna go with the, the little people. <laughs> okay, then I found some charms and beads. You guys, it's addicting, okay? <laughs> All right, so I found these little turtles. Oh my gosh, so adorable. And then I found this lock and key. Oh, you can barely see it. There you go. And then I found, I don't know, I think these are little lovebirds on there. And then I found, there's like such pretty stuff. I can't wait to make these into stitch markers. Some anchors. Oh, there's another set of anchors. And then this little itty bitty tiny donut. <laughs> and then you guys, I don't know what my obsession is with this, but they're so pretty. Oops, something just fell over. 
<laughs> so um, hopefully I'll get a chance to sit down and make some stitch markers um, in the next couple weeks and put all this new stuff up in the shop. Um, so if there's anything that you saw here tonight, um, just send me an email and I'll write you down on a list for when I actually do them. Okay, so let's get to, um, you know what, let's do the Etsy shop update since we're talking about stitch markers. I'm gonna show you guys some new stitch markers that are in the shop. Okay, so now these have actually been in the shop for a while, you guys, um, and I feel really weird doing this, but everyone that has an Etsy shop does an Etsy shop update, so I figured I'll go with it too. So I'm just gonna go really fast. All of these are up for sale in my Etsy shop, so if you're interested, just go over there and pick them up. Now, um, I hope you guys can see them. So the, the problem that I'm having with Etsy, you guys, is that say you like two different sets of stitch markers, they're not combining the shipping. So if you are gonna purchase more than one set of, sh of stitch markers, just know that I keep track of what the actual shipping cost was and you will see a refund of the difference once I actually ship out your items. So say you order four sets of stitch markers, the shipping comes out to like $12, but it really doesn't cost $12 to ship them. So I apologize for that. I've looked and searched to see how to combine the shipping and I can't figure it out. So if you do buy stitch markers more than one set, don't worry, you will get a refund on the shipping cost. Okay, so those were some flowers. There are some little bees. Oh my gosh. Some owls. And I do have more than one set of owls, you guys. You just have to go and look. Elephants. Here is another set of elephants. Um, I don't know if um, my one of my favorite YouTubers showed this on her channel, but these are little aliens. And I actually sent her a set of these. So there's like a little alien and a spaceship. Um, I still have Wonder Woman stitch markers, you guys. Um, I have quite a few of the Southwestern themed stitch markers because I made a whole bunch for Billy. Let's see, there are some dragonflies. And then a lot of people ask me for sea themed and I, and I do have quite a bit of sea themed stitch markers on my shop. You just have to kind of go and search around for them. I have, I love this set. I have this in pink, I think in another color. And then here are some moons and I have a couple different colors on that. Um, you guys, that's pretty cool, like mermaid scales on there. Lots of people ask for butterflies. I do have quite a few butterfly stitch markers. There's some wooden ones. And then there are some crystal ones. I have those in some different colors, you guys. Here are some more Southwest themed ones. I love the cactuses. Um, these I think are really pretty too. Love those. All right, now for you nerds out there, I don't know if you guys can see that. It says, it says on the back, I make up everything. Get it? I make up everything. <laughs> and staying on the theme of science theme markers, there are some beakers for your science loving friends. And then we will go straight back to Harry Potter. I do have some more of these up on the shop. Made some more for you. And then we have these little nice ones. I believe it says, luck on there. I love those. Those look so dainty to me. I've got a whole bunch of these little fruity ones. So there's like apples and watermelon and a whole bunch. All right. We've got some fishies and I have some frogs. Love those guys. Here are some more of the sea theme, like some um, seashells. I have colored seashells. For any music lovers out there, there is guitar and drum set and a trumpet. So those are all music themed stitch markers. I do have Halloween stitch markers, you guys. Here is my set that I just made. 
Um, I also do have Jack Skellington, which is um, from the movie Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I do have some Christmas stitch markers. These come in a set. And if you guys watch Billy the Crafty Floridian, she has ordered a lot of those from me. So there's the other set that I have. I know it's kind of hard to see it. And then, um, and I do have more than this, but I only took out these. And there's some really cute snowman stitch markers. So if anyone is interested, please go and check out my Etsy shop. These are all up for sale. Remember, you will get refunded for the extra shipping charges. Don't worry about that. And I have some finished objects to show you guys. All right, you guys. So I have this obsession with making these things called lovies. <laughs> and it's not my original idea. I didn't come up with it. This idea was actually from Z. Uh, Zelda NRJ3. I will link the tutorial for the lovey in the description box down below. And what it is, is you take a little stuffed animal and you make a blanket for it. And so the little kids in your life can run around and hold on to their lovey and it's got a little blanket. And this part comes off and you, the mom or dad can wash the little blanket part and, you know, do a little hand touch up on the lovey. So this is the stuffed animal. It can be any stuffed animal and you can use any color and go check out the tutorial by Z. And this just goes around their head and you have a lovey for your little one to carry around. So I showed you guys the sloth on the last video that I did. So here is sloth number two. <laughs> and here is sloth number three. I found two more of them. Are they not adorable? Oh my God, I hope one of them doesn't sell so I could keep it. <laughs> okay, so here are two sloths. Here is a little uh, leopard, pink and green leopard. So there you go, there's that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I found this bear. He's so cute. Look at that little brown bear. Oh my gosh, okay, so I found him. Okay, and then I found this little chihuahua guy. Look at this, you guys, it's a little chihuahua. Oh my gosh, I love him too, adorable. And I found a penguin. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with making these, you guys. I have to stop. Look at the little penguin. He's so adorable. Okay, now here's the cream of the crop, okay? Okay, who knows Nightmare Before Christmas? Jack and Sally are like so freaking cool, you guys. And I found them and I made them into lovies. So there is Sally. And yes, she's a full-size doll. <laughs> and then there's Jack and he is a full-size doll as well so you can hold them from their legs and um, there they are are they not super cool or what so these guys I'm selling as a set and I actually have two sets because I am obsessed and so I had to buy two sets and make two of them <laughs> All right, so there's Jack and Sally and Jack and Sally. So those are my lovies. So I think I'm done making lovies for a little while. <laughs> All right, now I have some shawls to show you. Okay, so this first one, I just posted it on my Instagram, and this is called the Dragon Belly Shawl. Now, I do not believe there is a video tutorial for this, but there is a written pattern and it is free. Now, the person who did this pattern, um, their website is called Miho Crochet, and I will link it down in the description box down below. So here is the Dragon Belly Shawl. I am in love with this pattern. And just so you guys can see, the stitch work. This is sparkly yarn too. I don't know if you guys can see that. You know what? I'll put it in a picture right here of what it looks like. Okay, so I used this yarn art Flowers Moonlight. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's from Hobium. And um, the color is 3285. It's a number one. Um, I believe it's like a thousand, a thousand ninety-three yards. And after that, all I had left was this. 
So I am just in love with making this shawl. And the best thing about like this drapey fabric is I can just wear it like a scarf and it's like lightweight. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so let me show you the next shawl. Okay, this is my weird shawl. The reason I say it's my weird shawl is because um, I started out with this yarn. It's called Dreamcatcher by Stylecraft. And this yarn was gifted to me by Mary from Mary's Crochet and Chit Chat. And I was like, I really wanna use it. It's 90% acrylic and 10% wool and it's a DK weight. So I had two of them and I doubled them up. And I ran out before I got the shawl to the size that I wanted. So the only thing I could find in my stash that matched <laughs> was this Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And the color is Anemone. Okay, so I found that. And let me show you guys the shawl. I call it like my double vision shawl or something. It's still a dragon belly shawl, but it's made with two completely different types of yarn. And I don't even know if you guys can tell like where it stops and where it ends, but here, let me show you. Okay, so here is the shawl. Now I can feel the difference because I can feel the fuzziness here. And then this is the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, I think. Nope, it's the other way around. I can't tell you guys. <laughs> Anyway, I thought the colors came pretty close. And so this is what I used. Oh, you know what? All this is the dream catcher. And then this part right here is the super saver ombre. I'm going to put in some pictures right here. Okay, so that's my crazy shawl. It's like two completely different yarns and textures, not really textures, but you can definitely feel there's a difference. So that was my second Dragon Belly shawl. I love making these shawls, you guys. Okay, so the next shawl that I finished is a virus shawl. And um, you guys can just search up virus shawl and you'll find lots of tutorials for it. So here is my virus shawl. I posted this on Instagram um, like a week ago or something like that. But here it is. And I used discontinued Hobby Lobby yarn called Yarn Bee Dazzling. And... It is 98% acrylic and 2% metallic. And I had, I use like three and a half skeins of it. There's 249 yards in each one. So um, I love it. I think it's so pretty. It's really soft. And I'll put in some pictures right here of this one. Okay, so here's my last virus shawl, and you know it had to be purple because I haven't shown you anything purple. <laughs> All right, so here it is. It, this actually is using this downtown, down, down, downtown Abbey <laughs> yarn. And this, like I went to a AC Moore once in my life and they had this, and so I picked up a bunch and it's like, purple with like orange sparkles going through it. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and I used like two and a half of these and they're 290 yards each. So um, here is my virus, my purple virus shawl. And um, I will put in some pictures right here. So this is how that yarn came. It came like six in a bag and I have three left plus another six pack. So these are all going to go in a future giveaway. Um, so someone else can use them because I don't know. I don't like, I think unless I really, really love the yarn, I usually don't use it twice for another project. So, all right, those are the shawls. Okay, the final project, and I talked about this on my last video, has taken me four years to complete. And it's not because I'm lazy, it's just because it was a graph GAN and some of the rows had like 
40 color changes. So in between remodeling my house and just living life, I couldn't sit down every day and spend a half an hour doing one row on this blanket. Now, I'm not gonna show you the entire blanket um, because it is customized with my daughter's real name on it and I don't, I wanna um, protect her privacy. So um, I'll show you the top part of it so you can get an idea. And then I have a picture with her name blocked off on it. So I'll show you guys. She's already used it, it's washed, it's been loved. Um, <laughs> she's been waiting for it forever. Okay, so it was like 200 and 56 stitches across and like 300 and something rows. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it from me holding it up here, but it's like a music staff and it's got uh, music notes on it. It's got a treble clef on it. Um, it's got, yeah, it's gonna be really hard to show you guys. It is, um, it's probably more of a twin size, but it fits on top of her full size bed. And I'm gonna insert a picture here of it. All right, you guys, that is some crazy stuff, right? I actually have two more blankets, plus I put together two blankets for wings, and I'm working on a third. So I have a lot of stuff going on. So remember, check out my Etsy shop for all of those stitch markers. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'll be able to make some stitch markers and put some more up there, but um, life is crazy busy right now. So um, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, and um, I hope you guys have a great week. I should have a wings update um, this weekend because I have quite a few boxes that came in, so I'm really excited about that. And that's it. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.